Hey guys, so I just want to have a quick conversation about Azure Machine Learning. It's a pretty easy tool to use and the way that I've been leveraging it from the BIM perspective of things is that you know we work with these models every day and it has all this data and with clarity or imagine it clarity we can pull out the databases of all the Revit models and then I can well actually within that database you have a variety of information so essentially everything that's Revit your Revit model is made up of can be represented in a uh, SQL database and so you can export that information out and start messing with it so with clarity we can look at every single project pull it out and then we can build a massive database of all the information say say we want to look at just room types pull it out and then push it into a different platform so uh, like Microsoft Azure machine learning and uh, we can use imagine it clarity pull the Revit data out use Python to tie into the existing SQL server with all the databases, pull all that out and create another database that we can leverage within Microsoft Azure Machine Learning. And then we can pull it in like what I've done here. Um, I'm gonna delete that. So I've got a database and then I've done a little bit of uh, data editing almost. So I've done a little bit of that here and you can do m most of that in actually Python, but what's nice is if you don't get it to the fullest extent, you can pull it in here. And then when you start working with actual algorithms, you can then see you know how accurate your um, estimations are, whatever it is, and then start manipulating the data in here, not having to go back into a different platform and then rebuilding your database. So we build a database, you know, maybe do some editing, build a algorithm, and then you know train that that model and then actually score it in the end and then we can actually evaluate that and then push it into an interface that can be worked with and the idea is that working with imagine it python and then azure we can for example pull in all the room types of a um let's say it's uh healthcare so we pull in all the room types of healthcare type buildings and then we can start estimating you know uh, based on size based on a variety of different variables um, um, what you know what this building is going to cost what this building is going to be you know how efficient is this building going to be and using ml we can try to estimate that stuff um, and i don't want to downplay machine learning because it is a, a vastly complex topic so it's a lot of plug and play that you have to do to really get information that's valuable but the idea is that you know you can use your existing databases to essentially estimate or at least better prepare for what you could potentially run into um, in the future while working on these jobs so I just wanted to really talk about this, uh, get the information out there that you can use, you know, tying all these tools in, you don't have to be an expert in all of them. You can use uh, Revit um, at its fullest capabilities, leverage Python, and then use a tool like this where it's just plug and play and then get some really valuable information out of it. So um, just wanted to share that. Let me know if you have any comments, likes, um, and thanks a lot for watching.